This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. I'm an entertainer. The one, the only. A father in the house, baby. Wow! You know, it's funny. Uh, I promised you I'm a man of my word. I'm not mentioning uh, the famous uh, person's name that I always mention, right? I'm not going to do it. I'm going to call him Mr. Clean. Okay, that's that's his that's his code name, Mr. Clean. This is the man who hangs out with the squirrels in the parks and makes videos, and he makes videos by police precincts with sirens. Woo, Mr. Clean. Okay, so he made a video recently, Mr. Clean, where he's like, you know, it just came to be like a like a light bulb went off in my head. We don't actually own real shares, you know. They're like ledgers. They're like credits. All right, you know what's funny? He made this video, Mr. Clean. I don't know what it was, probably 10, 15 minutes ago, I think, from what I was seeing, or maybe half an hour, I don't know. It was a new video, okay. The Ape Father made a video about the same exact subject like four or five hours ago. Same exact subject, <laughs> okay. Wherever I told you I got the email, hey, I'm looking at it right now, from uh, Daniel uh, Daniel uh, Sordo. It's uh, S-O-R-D-O, I want to give him a big shout out, Daniel Sordo. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, Okay. So Daniel sent me this email. Give me one second here. Hopefully you can see this. Okay. So it says this is uh, someone I guess he uh, you know, did some DD on. Okay. Wow. It looks like TD pulled a Robin Hood and never purchased my GM shares. Now they are playing musical chairs to actually buy shares to transfer to my Fidelity account. I'm hopefully, hopefully you can see that. Okay, I can never get this one angled right. All right, so I talked about this before. I said that I've already had apes telling the ape father they've been trying to transfer to um, Fidelity for, like, say, Robinhood, for example, and they're not transferring all the shares. Like this one ape, I think he had 500 shares, and they were only transferring 300. And then another ape was telling me how it was taking, like, you know, over a week, and nothing's happening. They're not transferring over his shares, okay? This really needs to go viral. I mean, just simply for the reason this is very, very important, because this is the proof, okay, that synthetics, and I think it's past synthetics as well, you know, that they're just, it's kind of like, uh, it reminds me of the movie Bugsy. You ever see Bugsy? Okay. Great, great movie, man. And uh, the point of, of Bugsy was he was the first, you know, uh, mobster who came up with the idea of Las Vegas. Okay. And, you know, he envisioned it. It just came to him out of the blue. And the thing was, he went to Myra Lansky, you know, he went to Charlie Luciano. Okay. And the point is that they laid out, laid the, the startup money. For him to build the uh, the flamingo, okay, and the thing is, he kept telling them different prices. He's like, "Look, this is gonna cost me two million tops." Next thing you know, it's three million. Next thing you know, it's four million. He goes, "There was a big wall." He goes, "What's this wall doing here? It's blocking my my view of the uh, of the pool." He goes, "Knock that wall down." He goes, "That's more money." Well, that's five million. Okay, <laughs> so it just got to the point where the where, where Charlie Luciano, Meyer, Meyer Linsky cut cut off Bugsy. And uh, that's the end of that. You know what I mean? Then he had to sell his house. He had to sell everything he owned. You know what I mean? All his furniture, everything. His, uh, his clothes off his back to get the rest of the money. And he couldn't. Okay? He couldn't get the rest of the money. So then what Bugsy did, okay, was he went out to all different people, like in Hollywood. He was living in Hollywood. He went out to, uh, you know, to speak to uh, actors and politicians. And he started lying to them. He started telling them, look... I'll give you 5% of the Flamingo for like 50,000, right? And they were like, but wait a minute. Is it is it the Flamingo that all the shares are sold? He's like, well, I wouldn't be selling your shares, right, if they, if they were all sold. So <laughs> he winded up to get the money that he needs. He winded up having to sell, you know, like 200, 300%. Of the casino. <laughs> so it's like fake, again, once again, fake shares, right? So Mr. Clean, our friend, he called it ledges. He called it credits. It's all the same thing in the end. Okay. So yes, this is a major, major problem. And it really needs, you know, to get a lot of attention. So that's why we really need to make these videos viral. Once again, I'm going to hope, hopefully you can see this. This is the proof right here. Okay. I'm hoping that you can see it. Once again. Wow, it looks like TD pulled a Robinhood and never purchased my GME shares. 
now they are playing musical chairs to actually buy shares to transfer it to my Fidelity account. Okay. So the answer to this is really simple. Okay. You got to see, do you want to know why this is actually happening? And once again, the ape father deserves credit. I'm never going to get credit. Listen, you'll give credit to Mr. Clean all the time. You know, whatever he says, you'll give him credit. Okay, the ape father has been a major voice. Now, I admit to you that I got into Fidelity late, 100%. But I have been a major, major voice in getting apes to now go to Fidelity. And let me tell you something. I, I love it when I get these messages from apes telling me, you know, we knew about Fidelity in January. But there is tons of apes still on Robinhood, still on Webull, still on TD Ameritrade, still on E-Trade. You know what I mean? It's it's tons of them. And I've been a major voice, the ape father, in getting apes to switch to fidelity. And this is right now the results of, of, of some of my hard work. Okay. My hard work has now got out. Okay. Out in the open. Meaning that we're starting to see results. This is really from my hard work. And you don't have to accept it, but it's the truth. It's the truth because I'm getting apes who I told to switch to Fidelity, who are telling me this. They're telling me, they're saying, Ape Father, you know, uh, they're not transferring over all my shares. What's happening? Okay, so it goes back to the Ape Father's original plan. Everyone switched to Fidelity. Because don't you understand what's going to happen? I mean, oh man, sometimes I really think you're all stupid. No offense. We have the Moaz in our fingertips right now. Okay, we have the Moaz in our fingertips. We can make it happen right away. And I'm going to tell you how. We can make the MOAS happen right away. If every single ape would just switch to Fidelity, you don't understand what's going to happen. You have no idea. Like if 4 million apes, all the retail investors that are invested in AMC would switch to Fidelity, we will locate, okay, all of these fake shares. It will cause a major, major outrage. This is going to get like national news. This is going to get right on Gary Gensler's desk. This is going to cause such a major stink that we, we're going to have the MOAS. I, I can pretty much tell you with 100% conviction that that would happen but you know that's why if you really want to win what you have to do and mr clean by the way didn't say this okay all mr clean said was the light bulb went off his, in his head and and he realizes that we don't have real shares he said you know you could write out a check for uh, 10 trillion dollars and they'll cover it because it's all just credits and it's all fake yeah well exactly i already knew that that's why i covered it four hours ago but anyway let's put that aside <laughs> okay let's put that aside he didn't talk about the solution, Mr. Clean. He just talked about, you know, what that he finally put the pieces of the puzzle together and realized it. But once again, he doesn't talk about solutions, okay? Here's the actual solution. You got to share my video to every single ape. Every single ape. This isn't because I want attention. This isn't because I want subscriptions. I'm losing subscriptions. I'm losing subscriptions faster than I'm losing the damn hair on my head. Okay, it's not about subscriptions, okay? It's about awareness. We need every single ape to switch to Fidelity as soon as possible. As soon as possible, okay? Because what's going to happen is Fidelity is going to locate all the fake shares and it's going to get on Gary Gensler's desk. It's going to cause mass outrage on Wall Street. And believe me when I tell you, this is going to cause the Moaz. But I know you're not going to listen to me. You're not going to listen to me. And it's either going to be out of hatred. It's either going to be out of whatever. I don't know what it is. You just, I guess, don't like me. But you know what? This isn't about liking me. Okay? Why don't you just for one second put aside your personal feelings for me? Okay? You want to make money, right? Isn't this about making money? Isn't this about all of us getting life-changing wealth, generational wealth? Okay. So put aside your feelings for me and share this effing video because let me tell you the reason why. Every ape has to switch to fidelity. If it happens, we're going to locate all the fake shares and we're going to make history and we're going to win. Okay. But now the ball's in your court. Okay. So now I'm waiting for all the comments. It could be all the insults, all the same BS when you have the Moaz in the tip of your hands. You, this is the answer. This is what will start the Moaz. Share my damn video. Get it going. Get every ape knowing about this. This should be viral. This should be viral. Put aside your feelings for me. Share it.